How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. As you guys know, I pretty much saved my way into retirement. So today I'm gonna to share with you how I became so frugal. Some of you have asked me how I became this way. Was I always like this? Well, my parents pretty much had blue collar type of jobs. We didn't have all that much money at home. There's four siblings total amongst us. And basically my childhood years were over in Hong Kong. Now I remember very clearly that at some point I got $2 of allowance in Hong Kong dollars. At the time, you can buy one drink during recess. So every single week I got about $10. Now most of the time I would actually save this $2. I would not buy the snack. It's not like a lunch or anything. So I wasn't really starving myself. I just saved this $2 and over many, many weeks, well, eventually I had $100 just sitting there. No one asked me to do it. I was given that $2. And no one told me, oh, you should save this and perhaps you can buy something bigger. I just saved that $2 and I might have bought a snack maybe once every 10, 15 days or so. Just sort of kind of reward myself, you know, maybe I want to have something one day and then I just buy it anyway. So if you were to ask me who actually told me to do it, I don't think anyone did. I just basically did it on my own. Now, fast forward to moving to California. Well, my family has never been you know, all that much wealthy. I remember in high school, there would be people that would go on ski trips and those were insanely expensive at the time for me because every single time you go, it would be a hundred some dollars and just spending $100 on one single trip is just unimaginable at the time. So those are the things I could never actually go on. So I started getting a factory job pretty early on. So at the time I was making $7 an hour and basically the whole paycheck. I would just stuff it in and just save most of it. However, I tended to be a wealthier type of high school student, not the, not the most wealthy type because I had friends that would buy every single video game that would come out. They just seemed to have every single thing. Me on the other hand, yeah, I had the Nintendo and stuff, but at most, I think we had about 10 games or so. Whereas, you know, I see other people had a lot more, you know, 30, 50 or something just all laying around. And at the time buying games was a big deal because it was still $50 every single game back then. So this whole saving type of mindset has always been instilled in me. But I think what I've matured into is that when I was a kid, I used to save for something. I was saving to buy something big or I thought I had something big that I want to buy. There's some toy that I want to buy. And I remember blowing my money off multiple times after saving a lot. For example, I would save thousands something dollars and I was still in high school and I would buy a helicopter. At the time, I think it was spending $1,300 or something. On a remote control helicopter, I basically blew my whole savings into that thing. Later on, I wouldn't even have enough money to buy that Porsche Boxster for $20,000. Although I was able to pay it off pretty quickly because I started working and I was able to pay it off in six months. What habits change is that these days, I'm actually able to save up money and I wouldn't be itching to get rid of it. That is a huge factor because a lot of people, they're like, oh, I'm trying to save it up. And then they have a goal in mind. They want to buy a drone or something. They want to buy a big screen TV. These days, when I save it, I'm like, I don't need any of that. I don't want any of it. So it's just going to sit there and it's just going to help me generate cash to buy food basically for me. So a lot of my siblings are not as frugal as I am. I am the most frugal one out of all my siblings and I'm even more frugal than my parents are. So because of this frugalness, I am the only sibling, I'm the youngest one by the way, that is not working so early on. So ever since I started working, I've become more and more frugal. I added new ways to become more frugal. So of course I was able to save enough for a down payment of a house that hurt it a lot because I was saving for years and then all of a sudden, psh, you know, all of that is into a house and all of a sudden I was really broke. I have no cushion at all. I had to uh, build up my cushion back up again as I'm working. So I think a good portion of my frugalness, probably about a quarter of it, has to do with this YouTube channel. As I'm making videos, I get recommendations and I'm like trying new things just to bring you new ideas on how to be more frugal. And then in turn, I am absorbing these into my own life as well. So it's like a work in progress. It's kind of like an art painting or something because you have something that you did. It's not quite perfect, but then you can sort of rework bits and pieces of it. This is exactly how it's like with your bills. You just look at your bills and then you start to whittle away at it. You go, yeah, you know what? I'm spending a little bit too much on electricity. 
I'm gonna find ways to try to reduce it a little bit more. And even now I'm trying to do so by cutting out some of my electrical power. I'm thinking about using like a little self-contained uh, solar array thing so that I can just draw power from that. You know, I can just turn on some lights with it. I don't have to run the whole house with it. So as an experiment to try to uh, be less dependent on the electric bill. So just to give you an idea of how unfrugal I used to be. And now that I have shifted into a, you know, a brand new, even more crazily frugal type of mindset is that I used to go shopping at the mall. Yeah. And you know, this shirt included, I bought at the mall and my budget used to be around a hundred dollars. I would just go in the mall because I just thought that, oh, you know what? I need to keep up with the fashion style. I need to go to the mall and keep on buying brand new clothes so that I would look like I'm wearing brand new clothes all the time. So for the longest time, I was going to the mall every single month or so. And then I spend maybe a hundred dollars or, or something. And then I remember having a Macy's card and you know, the bill would come, I would pay it. And it's just like a cycle. And then I accumulated a whole closet worth of clothes that I still have right now. At some point after I started to work, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'm have a little bit more cash. I can just go out to restaurants a lot more. And sometimes, you know, maybe I want to go out to fancy restaurants just like everyone else's. So then my budget for restaurants kind of ballooned up, you know, sometimes it was like 100, 200, and then I would be comfortable. I remember saying this to people that I would be comfortable if I spent around $500 every single month on restaurants alone. Now this amount sounds incredible because right now I'm able to drop my restaurant bill down to a hundred or less every single month. So yes, a lot of these habits has been uh, partly due to me making these YouTube videos and me being frugal uh, in the public eye basically. Before this, I was pretty frugal because after all, uh, I go shop around for gasoline, you know, I try to get the lowest prices. I also did try to have a very low cost cell phone plan, but generally I think I was spending a lot more because I was making quite a bit as an engineer. I just thought, okay, yeah, you know, as long as I'm saving 50% of my income, I should reward myself a little bit because I did go to work and I'm like slaving away and I feel like I needed to reward myself. It's sort of like a justification because when I go, you know, you want to feel like you know, you work for something, I guess. But these days, it does not matter to me as much. It's like, oh, I can save 90%, 100% even, and I would be fine with that. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed how I became so frugal all along the way. It came in steps, definitely. It's not like, you know, right from the very beginning, I'm like doing everything that I'm doing today. So all along my saving life, it's just kind of like gotten more and more frugal, more and more efficient in how I use my money. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like, comment down below. Let me know how you became so frugal yourself, if you are. If you're interested in supporting this channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you don't like this audiobook or this service, you can cancel it before the subscription expires and you can still keep this book for free. And as always, don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching. Oh, these are shoes. Why is this thumbnail so frugal? I don't know. Shoes. Ah, this is the ultimate frugalness.